Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Laura for those of you that do not know and today I'm going to be doing a book haul for you guys. So I'm super excited. I have a pretty sizable stack of books that I've accumulated over the past like one or two months I want to say. You guys know I try to be careful with my book buying because I have so many books. I probably have at this point over a thousand books in my bedroom, my teeny tiny bedroom that barely can fit anything. So I have books everywhere. It's literally a problem. It's really, really bad actually. But I tried to be more mindful about the books that I buy. I try to only buy things that really, really excite me or things that I'm really knowing that I'm kind of going to love already. So because of that, this stack of books is actually like probably one of my most exciting hauls in a hot second. Like every single book in this haul, I'm so excited to share with you guys and read and just talk about. So I'm just going to get started, get into it. I have so many books to share with you guys. So first one actually just came in the mail yesterday and I'm not even kidding. This book will probably be read before you guys even see this video. That's how excited I am to read this book. And it is Lyrics of a Small Town by Abby Gline. So this is her newest new adult romance book, which I'm so excited about. She hasn't had a new adult romance that I've been like super excited for in a hot, hot second. So I'm really excited. She like randomly announced this one during the summer and was like, guys, I'm putting out a book. Um, but it's about a girl who moves back to the small town that her mother grew up in in the south that her mother like fleed away from when she was 18 and left a bunch of crazy things behind and so this girl's kind of going back there to pick up the pieces and she meets a guy there and I just if you guys know me if you know me if you don't know me then you wouldn't know that Abby Glines is just my comfort author. Her books are just so fun, so easy to read. They literally read like a movie. Like it feels like you're watching a movie when you read her books. And they are full of cliches and often very predictable, but I love them. I love them and I'm so excited to read this book. I'm literally gonna start it today after I film this video. Literally I'm gonna press end and then I'm probably just gonna sit here and read this book because that's how excited I am. So if anyone's read it, it came out the other day, but let me know. Um, the next two books I have are by the same author, and these books have been so, so highly requested that I read. I've seen everybody talk about these on, like, TikTok and stuff, so I was like, it's time, I gotta read them. But it's the Emily Henry books. These are the two books that she has, Beach Read and People We Meet on Vacation. So I was actually on vacation, I was on the Cape, and I went to this bookstore in P-Town, if any of you guys know the Cape, and um, I decided to buy a book because I was gonna go to the beach the next day, and I saw these there and I was like, I should buy them. It's like a beachy vibe to like buy books about the beach at a beach town. Like I just thought it was like perfect. So I started reading People We Meet on Vacation. I'm on page 21. I'm on page 21. I didn't get a lot of reading done at the beach, but I did really like what I read. It was like two chapters maybe. Um, this one is about two friends to lovers kind of situation. And this one is about two authors that challenge each other to write out of their genre comfort zone. And there's a love story. I don't know. So I haven't started this one, but this one I'm currently reading and I'll finish it and I'll let you guys know my thoughts. But I've heard everybody talk about these everybody's obsessed with them so I knew I had to jump on the bandwagon and pick them up and I just heard that she has a new book coming out so that's exciting so I have both of those that I've bought next up you guys are gonna be really proud of me if you didn't see my Instagram story which if you didn't you should follow me on Instagram at lovely like Laura if I buy books sometimes I post them on my story so you get a little sneak peek um, but I had so many DMS when I posted this everybody was like oh my god she's finally gonna read it corrupt Corrupt by Penelope Douglas. First of all, before I even say a word, I need to thank every single person who is on Book Talk for making books like this available at Barnes & Noble. Like, five years ago, I would go into the romance section and it was like Fabio covers. Like there was no like this, like this, like you would never see it in the romance section. Like at least where I'm from, like you would never see it. Now I can go in the romance section and they have Penelope Douglas? That's nuts. That's literally nuts to me. And especially because this is, I believe, self-published. Like, that's actually crazy that Book Talk has had that big of an impact on the bookstore. Like, I went to the bookstore and there was a whole Book Talk table. I swear on my life, teenage slash college-aged girls are going to save Barnes & Noble because I literally was there and there were so many people around my age shopping for books, getting romance books especially, and I was just, like, so excited. Like, I actually love to see that people are at Barnes & Noble shopping, especially people like around my age. And in the romance section, I was like, oh my God, this is crazy. It's so fun. Um, but I found this in the romance section at Barnes & Noble and I was like, 
should I buy it? Like, I promised you guys I was going to read this because I love Penelope Douglas, as some of you guys may know. But this is the one series that I just have not been able to get into. I've tried reading it on Kindle so many times, and I just can never keep going. So I was like, what if I have the paperback? Maybe that'll make a difference. Maybe it won't. I don't know, but I'm going to try it. This is the new paperback. I kind of like the other... Like, I don't love the other one, but I kind of like it better than this one. But this is what they had, so I bought it. But yeah, I'm going to read it. I'm going to let you guys know what I think. But yeah, huge shout out to everybody making books cool again on TikTok. I mean, that's really fun. I just love to see more people reading. I think it's so cool. Um, but this next book, I'm so excited for. I'm so excited for it, and I'm going to show you the cover. And if you immediately know, then you know. And if you don't, then you don't. But I got My Policeman by... Bethan Roberts, Bethan, Bethan Roberts. And if you look at the back, it says soon to be a major motion picture starring Harry Styles and Emma Corrin, an exquisitely told tragic tale of thwarted love. Thwarted? Thwarted. I don't know what that word means, to be honest. Prevent from accomplishing something. Ooh, so like. Is it like star-crossed lovers? I don't really know. All I know is that Harry Styles is one of the main characters in this and he plays a police officer. That's all I know. That's really all I know. And I'm excited regardless because it's Harry Styles. So I'm gonna read it uh, before the movie comes out because I already filmed it. So I'm excited, but I bought that. Let me know if any of you guys have read it. I've heard that it's actually really, really sad. So let me know. Speaking of really, really sad, this next book, I also posted this on my story. So many people were in my DMs again, like, good luck to you. And I was like, I don't even know what this is about, but I bought it because of TikTok. Um, A Little Life by Hanya. I don't want to butcher the last name, to be honest, but this is the book. <laughs> um, So I saw this at Barnes & Noble and I knew that I had recognized the cover from TikTok. And it's about four college students living in New York. And I guess just kind of like their story, I suppose. But I've heard so many people talk about this and everybody says that it's like, super super tragic so I'm excited it's humongous it's like 800 pages I'm pretty sure yeah it's 800 pages so I am ready to take it on but I'm also scared but so many people have said it's amazing and I've just heard a lot of things about it so I'm excited to read it I'm excited to have it I think this is a really cool looking book I love the spine but yeah so I'm excited for that one Oh, okay. So next, I don't know what was happening with me, but I was at Barnes and Noble and I was like, I kind of want to read more classics. Like I go through this phase, I feel like every six months where I'm like, I should try and broaden my horizons and pick up something different. And a lot of the times I want to reach for classics just because I want to be a more well-read person and just whatever, but it's hard for me to read classics. Like I don't find a lot of enjoyment in them. So I thought a good place to start would be to read read classics that I probably read in high school but like half-hazardly like I probably didn't really read them or I didn't pay quite good enough attention to them to like retain everything about them so I decided to buy two classics that I did already read and I'm going to reread them so the first one is Animal Farm by George Orwell I read this my freshman year of high school so that was eight years ago nine something like that years ago. And I really like this cover. I like the pig. All that I know about this book is that it's an allegory of the Russian Revolution. So it's like a satirical allegory with animals. So I remember reading it. I don't remember like absorbing it though. So I really want to reread it. It's so short. It's literally 140 pages. Like I can read that in a sitting. So I'm excited to read that. I remember enjoying it for what it was, but I was like 14 years old. Like I definitely didn't absorb the book. Um, also, I read this, I think sophomore year. Lord of the flies I decided to buy this cover because look how cool and the pages are yellow I was just like really into this cover so I was like okay I'll go with the Lord of the flies um next so I remember liking this when I read it it's about a bunch of boys that are like stranded on an island so I'm gonna try and read both of these and we'll go from there with the whole trying to read more classics thing because I think it would be really cool to like incorporate more classics and stuff. If you guys have a recommendation for your favorite classic, let me know. But for now, I'm starting with things that I've already read. Also, in relation to classics, I actually bought this, which is so random, but I saw it and I just really wanted it. And this is one of my favorite classics. It's like everybody's favorite classic that I feel. And it's The Great Gatsby. I feel like people either really love The Great Gatsby or they're like, it's the most overrated classic of all time and it's just like not that good. I really like it though. So this is the graphic novel. 
Um, I'm so excited about this because I love The Great Gatsby. I've read it multiple times. I read it in high school and I read it twice in college because I went to two different colleges and I read it both times. Um, so I have read the book a lot. I've seen the movie a lot. The Leonardo DiCaprio version came out when I was in high school, when I read it in high school, and I was just really invested in it. I misspoke. This isn't like a full-fledged graphic novel. It's an illustrated version of the book, so it's still the full book, like, in here, but there's, like, a lot of illustrations for the different chapters and such. So it's kind of just cool to have the pictures. I just really enjoyed this version. I have the classic version of the book with just like the eyes, but I don't know, there's something about this, the hardcover, it's just really pretty. So I'm excited to have this and if I ever wanna reread it, I'll probably reread this version just so I can see the pictures and all that. So I'm really excited about that. Oh, this I forgot when I was showing the romance books. I bought the uh, mass market paperback size of It Ends With Us because I'm crazy. So the story behind me buying this is actually pretty funny. My grandmother is a huge reader and she always looks at the bestsellers list. She always like talks to me about books, what my favorite books are, and she knows that Colleen is my favorite author. And she's been seeing that It Ends With Us was like popping up on all of the the lists lately for bestsellers and New York Times and whatever it is. Um, literally probably because TikTok is making it popular again. My review of the book that I did when it came out in 2015 or something is like suddenly circulating again like people are commenting on it so I'm like hey guys but it ends with us has been talked about so much online lately so the book is selling really well again so my grandma was like I want to read it do you have a copy and I do have a copy but it's my special signed copy that I got at the release party for the book when I went in Boston when Colleen came here and so I was like I don't really want to give her that version but I still want to give her the book so I gave her this with the intention of letting her keep it, but she gave it back to me. So now I have this teeny tiny mass market paperback sized It Ends With Us. My grandma loved it, by the way, and now I'm trying to get her to read the rest of Colleen's books. But yeah, so I have this now. I'm just going to put it up with my other Colleen books, but that's the story behind that one. Lastly, I have some young adult books to share, which is kind of random. I don't read a ton of young adult anymore, but these ones I was actually really excited for. So I'm going to share them. First off, though, I have two that were actually sent to me by Penguin Teen. So thank you, Penguin for sending these books. I'm really excited about them. First one is actually an advanced reader's copy. The book comes out in September and it's called Hello From There and it's about two people that meet during the pandemic and so you can see could staying apart bring them closer together so they have like masks on on the cover. It's literally so funny. It's kind of clever, honestly, for these authors, which is Chandler Baker and Wesley King. It's kind of clever to like use these crazy times that we've been in to kind of come up with a new book concept. Um, so yeah, it's about these two people that meet right before everything goes into lockdown and then they can only communicate like online or by text or whatever it is. So I'm excited to read this. Like I said, it comes out in September, so keep an eye out for that if you're interested, but really cool. The other book that was sent to me is called Some Girls Do by Jennifer Duggan. This is again a young adult book. This book follows two girls in high school that are both gay and one of them is like out and proud and good and the other one is kind of still closeted and they form a relationship and they have to kind of deal with the repercussions of one of them being in the closet, one of them not, and how they kind of navigate this relationship, especially in high school. It's such a fragile time in your life. So I'm excited to read this one as well. I feel like there's been so many amazing LGBT books come out in the young adult community. Just there's so much diversity now. I was looking at Barnes and Noble and they just had such a diverse range of books. And it was just so exciting to see that like teenagers can find books like this so easily now. So that was a really cool one. Um, the rest I bought myself. This one I just got at Barnes & Noble. It's called That Weekend by Kara Thomas. I'm trying to get into the fall zone and find some horror books to read because I say every single year that I'm gonna read more horror books and then I don't. So this is kind of my like first book on that pile of like October reads. Um, it's about a girl and her friends that go to a cabin and this girl wakes up in this like trail and she's by herself and all of her friends are gone and she kind of has to like uncover the pieces of what happened on the mountain and whatever um but people replied to my story when i posted this and said it was really good so i'm excited i love a little suspenseful moment so i think i will enjoy it so i'll have to see about this one but hopefully i get to it this year i'm really excited 
um, just from that premise alone. Um, the other two books I bought are from authors that I absolutely love and I will auto buy their books when they come out even though they're YA and I don't read a ton of those anymore. Um, the first one is Morgan Matson, who is just a favorite of mine. This is her book Take Me Home Tonight that came out a few months ago I believe and I picked it up. Um, it's about two girls in New York City and it's like one of those books that takes place across just one night which I think are super super fun. You definitely have to have a different perspective going into books like that because you know there's not going to be a ton of long-term change um, and character development really but it always makes for a fun plot so I'm very excited to read this one. Morgan is like one of my favorite authors. I love her very much so I'm excited to read this one. And then we have Sunkissed by Casey West who is another one of my just favorite authors, favorite YA romance girlies. This I believe follows a girl who goes on a summer family trip to this like campground and she's like this is the last place I want to be but then she meets a guy there but he's on the staff at the campground so like it's kind of forbidden. Um, they shouldn't be together but I don't know so it follows that. I'm excited for this. Literally Casey West could have any plot for any book and I would still read it so I don't really look a ton into what they're about. I just pick them up and read them um, but I'm excited for this one nonetheless I just love when my favorite authors put out new books I love supporting them so super excited for all of those that's every single book that I've bought recently I need to find spots on my shelf to put all of these books so I'm actually doing a little bit of a clean out right now and I'm posting books on Depop for extremely cheap I even have in my bio like you can message me about any book and I'll probably give it to you for whatever price you want because I just want to get rid of them um, so go check out my Depop if you want to buy a book for me I have a few on there right now I'll probably be adding more though because I'm currently just going through my shelves and figuring stuff out but yeah so go check that out if you're interested but other than that those are the books that I bought recently. Let me know if you guys have picked up anything of interest or if any of these books you've read or heard of or just anything about them. I want to hear all of your thoughts. Super, super excited for all of these and to read them. If you're not subscribed yet, go subscribe down below. Give the video a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys all very, very soon in my next video. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Bye.